Alright guys, this is Doc M and I'm playing on the Minecraft server. And yeah, quickly want to show you guys my new farm design I made here. It's a zombie XP farm and it's really simple to do. It's based on yeah, villager being tracked by zombies and as you know in Minecraft 1.6.2 the zombies became really really brutal. Social zombies streaming in from everywhere and you need to protect yourself. So yeah, I have this XP farm and we make use of their behavior. You can see maybe half a night has passed by and we have quite a bunch of zombies caught in there. Not even half a night, maybe three, four minutes. They are tracking in like crazy, as I said. And yeah, I'm at XP level 30 here. Used up my sword, we're getting gold boots and gear. What was that, protection one. And yeah, this is a real nice way to farm zombies and it's almost as fast as a, a regular XP farm. Don't worry, this is just mobs glitching out. Um, if you find a zombie spawn, okay, but this thing, look at that. We got massive amounts of <laughs> zombies in there and we can keep on killing them and get a lot of XP and all their loot from them. So yeah, of course, zombie meat and it keeps on going. The more we hit them with our weak swords, the more will spawn in and so on. But I'd say we quickly go to a creative world and check out the design there and you can see yeah, zombies streaming in but yeah let's go to a creative world the other guys need daylight <laughs> so let's do this all right guys and here we are in a creative world a test world and we can have a closer look at the design working real nicely here we got the villagers sitting there we have the water streams we have the channel that brings the zombies into the harvesting chamber. And yeah, when you look around here, we have nice um, spawning capabilities because it's a nice dark flatland area. Of course, other mobs are spawning in. We will not only see zombies, but most <laughs> mostly any zombie around us will look for that thing. And the cool thing is, of course, when the zombies are looking for the villager, uh, they're completely ignoring the player. So I'm, in, of course, in creative right now. They're not looking at me. But if I would go to survival mode, they would ignore me for the most part. Of course, you have to watch out for the other mobs. Yeah, and after they are processed, they end up down here. And you see they are still looking at the villager. They are not even concerned about me. And down here, you would either farm them by hand or yeah, further on process them. You could use a crusher to weaken them. And that would also spawn in more other zombies and you could... Um, yeah, magnify the effect of the farm because if they take damage they call in reinforcements and I'd say let's quickly build us uh, one of these trap it's fairly simple it should be a quick tutorial so let's do this all right guys so let's build this design you start up with a 3x3 three three. I'm using glass here you don't have to and make sure to have two high walls so your villager cannot escape this is our villager holding cell and yeah how do you get a villager either you transport one in from a close by village or you just cure a zombie villager with a potion of weakness and a golden apple and yeah you frame him in like that so he cannot escape and cannot be attacked next thing you dig out a two wide trench um, around the villager which is too deep so let's do that real quick when you're done with that you just knock out all the blocks in the middle but leave the middle column just like that now we would need our signs you just go around first of all you place four signs on all sides of the column of course on the lower row here so we can keep back the water and now you extend the sides to the side by clicking on the corner there and you make sure to put the signs down like this so it makes sure a 3x3 three three is yeah, not flooded. And then you can dig out below. Same here. Go down three blocks. Make sure to dig out below. And yeah, to fill that back in. And yeah, towards one side, whatever side you choose, you dig out a tunnel and make it nine long from the back wall here you can easily figure it out if you place water just put water in and keep on digging and where you have the corner here you stop 
very simple. And here you go two blocks down. This is where you will store your zombies. So you want to see what's up. So you just knock out this wall three high and make a little room where it can work. Give yourself some space. There's no real like perfect dimensions for this room. Okay, so here you want to see what's up. So you can put some glass, make things easier. And you even want to go further down and below here, put your half slabs. Then you dig out around the place so you can actually reach down. And that's about it. From here, you can easily punch the zombies and get their loot. They will be stored in there. Um, last but not least, you need to get out of the place again. So you dig up, take some ladders. And yeah, make yourself a way to get up and down. And as I said here, you can have multiple variations. This is just a very, very simple harvesting room. You go up, just like that. And make sure to have a light source down here. We're just going to use a torch. Because um, if you have it lit up below, it will make sure not to spawn in other mombi uh, mombies. <laughs> zombies if you hit these guys here. So yeah, this is the basic setup. Below, very simple to do. Last but not least, you just need to put water buckets in all four corners. Just like that. And yeah, you got your scented stream. And now if we set it to night, let me see. Um, let's do time set 1600 or 16,000 better. Options, go to hard. Alright, we should see mobs spawning in. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> He's eager. And yes, yeah, system working. You can see zombies are falling down, are sucked into our water streams. And yeah, just end down here in our harvesting area. They are transported over. There we go. And from here on, we could process them and do whatever we want, farm XP and be happy campers. <coughs> Last but not least, I want to show you a little variation to the trap. So instead of a two deep pit, you make it three deep, knock out the center block and put a sand block there. Cacti, then you take string, place it against the top block and then you place it against the bottom of this string. You see you have a string on top here that will uh, prevent the cacti from growing. And now if you change it to night and if you change the game mode, see what happens now. Um, this is for the case um, yeah, you just want to get rid of zombies and not really farm them. So let's wait for a few to come in. Here we go. They will still walk into the pit and as they always want to go towards the villager they will constantly walk on top of the cacti and you can see when they take damage from the cacti um, they actually spawn in others. You saw this one zombie spawning in so that's environmental damage and that also multiplies them. Yeah, This one just spawned in because of them taking damage. This would be some kind of an infinite zombie loop almost. Yeah. So this is a nice variation to the trap, just uh, for the case you don't want to XP farm them or whatever. You just want to get rid of them and have them attracted to a different place and have your base somewhere else and yeah, be in peace and quiet. This guy is acting up a bit, he's not walking on it, but yeah, most of them track the cacti immediately. And I'd say that's it for today. There's another baby coming in, let's see what he does. Yeah, he gets onto it as well they immediately die off in the cacti. <laughs> make sure guys to leave a like, make sure to share the video a bit. I think it's a cool principle um, you could work with. And that's it for today. I'm out. Bye guys!